My name is Dexter Edmund. I'm the senior pastor of the Bethel Church here uh, in Bristol, England, and also serve as the senior pastor of the Bethel Church in Birmingham. Well, well I, I had, uh, I think, sort of uh, uh, grandiose ideas when the, the, the lockdown happened. In my mind, I thought three months and we'll be good. The church is such an integral part of people's lives, um, especially our seniors. And so it's been very challenging for them. We've had to make uh, uh, you know, adapt Zoom and have the Zoom YouTube type things, but it just isn't the same uh, as it is as coming together. And so uh, it's impacted us. And from the very moment I began to hear about a vaccine, I knew personally that I was going to take the vaccine. There was no doubt in my mind that I was going to take it. Um, I've had to have vaccines before in terms of traveling and so forth. So it certainly wasn't a foreign idea, but I surely an, an understood why uh, members of the community that I led and even members of my own family were cautious and maybe dubious about, uh, about taking the vaccine. The historical information uh, that, that we have, uh, both here in the UK and even from overseas, and have it been very connected, and my family being very connected to the US, so we, we also have that body of information. Uh, so I totally understood, and so it was part of my responsibility, I felt, to ensure uh, that uh, the people that I serve got the information. I was not ever going to tell anyone to take it or not to take it, but that I was going to work with health professionals that I knew uh, on the nature of COVID and then, of course, the importance of the vaccine. So uh, part of my responsibility is to ensure that people get the information and get credible information, because as you know, there is so much misinformation that's out there. The speed of the vaccine coming online has been uh, something that we all have heard. And of course, even I, even though at the very beginning I said, I'm going to take the vaccine, but it, you're curious as to why with the other vaccine is taken longer and this one is taken. Uh, but again, information, uh, uh, meeting with, with medical professionals and, and hearing, uh, talking about this whole idea of the tremendous amount of money, for instance, that was, was put towards finding the vaccine. That makes total sense to me. You know, Money makes everything move faster. Um, um, and it, it gives um, those in the research field added opportunities to do things. Um, um, the fact that there was, all, there was already um, uh, uh, studies and research going into what may come next, for instance, and having, so in my mind and hearing from the professionals, the, uh, the, the research didn't start from a zero base. There, there, you know, there was certainly much research that had already been done because of uh, of uh, pandemics that happened before. Um, again, that makes sense to me. Uh, so listening to this and, and, and hearing it, not just from one source, but multiple sources, the same information, again, strengthened my resolve that this was going to be something that I was going to, I was going to take. Within our, our church, within our church community, we have doctors, we have medical professionals. Uh, 20, 30 years ago, we did not have that luxury. So we had to totally depend on the information coming from the government, all of the information coming from the NHS. But we know now people that live with us, there are family members, there are our, our congregants uh, that we trust, we know them. There is no reason for them to give us dubious information. And so I would, I would recommend that, and, and, and those persons are willing to, you know, get on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call if necessary, make phone calls. Uh, so I would encourage people to take that up. And, and then to, uh, again, just educate themselves and, and to really check the information that they're hearing uh, on WhatsApp and other things, um, because the chances are uh, that it's, uh, it's probably not as credible as it should be. Get the information. Don't just do it because you see that I've done it or see someone else do it, but let me take you to where you can get the information so that decision is yours. I don't see any other way out of this. This is part of our way out and everybody wants to get back to normal. Well, this is part of the strategy of us getting back to normal, and, and we will consistently and continue, you know, to hand space and face, we'll continue to do those things. This is part of a strategy that will help us to get to where I believe lots of us want to be.